All right, we're just about out of daylight. We've got a really nice spread of yo-yos baited up, but we forgot our headlights. So we are actually going to run back to the house real quick, grab our headlights, let these guys sit out here in silence for a little bit without us paddling around. And uh, hopefully whenever we get back, we'll have a couple of fish on the line. And uh, we're just gonna run these, you know, probably two or three times tonight, just kind of depending on what the action's like. If the action's like really hot and heavy, we'll stay out here all night. But if it's kind of slow and just kind of methodical, you know, fish here, fish there, we'll probably just kind of take it easy and just, you know, take what we can get. But I've got a good feeling that we're gonna get some big ones tonight. What do you think, Jay? Big ones? I got a feeling. You got a feeling? <laughs> do you think you're gonna have your baby tonight? No. No? Not feeling it? <laughs> I can't believe she's past her due date, guys. Mm -hmm. Like how far along? Like four days past your due date? Three, three or four. Three or four days? Unreal. The doctor said there was no way she was going to even make it to her due date. And here we are, three, four days later, and uh, we're still on the lake, still trying to slay some fish. But we both know that that day is going to be approaching very soon, way sooner than later. So we got to get in all the fishing that we can while we still can. Right. So we're going to run back to the house. We'll come back out here. I'm sure it's gonna be dark when we get back out here with some flashlights and hopefully we'll have some fish hanging on these yo-yos for you. All right, we're about to go out and check our yo-yos. The wind did not let up at all. It's actually more windy now and it's pretty chilly. So I think we're only gonna be able to check, th check the yo-yos one time. So hopefully this run will have a bunch of fish. Yeah, it sucks that we can't run them multiple mm -hmm. times, but we're just out here paddling a canoe and the wind is literally ripping. Yeah. We were not expecting this. It was supposed to calm down, but that has not <laughs> been the case. So hopefully we got some big ones. Ready to go? <laughs> Let's go. Let's get them. All right, here we go, guys. We've got our first fish on the yo-yo. It is a nice little yellow bullhead. Jay's got him, I think. Swing him in. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. What a nice little fat guy right there. <laughs> Super yellow. Chunky. Kind of why they get the name yellow bullhead. And you can identify this as a yellow bullhead because if you look at the bottom chin barbels there, they are white. Completely unique and characteristic of the yellow bullhead. And he is going to be some fine eating. And he looks like he was hooked pretty well. Yeah. Nice one. And we have another fish on the next show, which is exciting. What? Yep. I think it's a bigger catfish. Ooh, that's exciting. It's like really uh, taking that yo-yo for a ride. First fish of the night. A beauty. <laughs> a beautiful little yellow bullhead. Now, normally when we're running yo-yos, we would normally turn these guys back. Just, I mean, they're good eating fish, but just because we're targeting the channel cat and the crappie. But since we are only doing one yo-yo run, we got to take what we can get. Yeah. And that is going to be some good eating. So let's throw them back here in the bottom of the boat. And let's go up and grab this next fish. This is our very next yo-yo. And we have a really, really nice sized channel cat on here. And he is still fighting. I don't even know how big he is, but he looks really large. He looks massive. Oh, he is heavy. Oh my gosh, it's a heavy boy. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to swing him. I don't know how good he's hooked. Let the yo-yo fight him. The yo-yo is still fighting him. He's, he's hot on this thing. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I should have brought a net. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, don't hook me. He is fighting so hard. Oh, I got him. I got him. You got him. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yes. That is the fish that we are after out here tonight. Yes. Big old channel cats and crappie. That is what's up. Man, that makes that yellow bullhead look like a little dinky guy. I know, right? <laughs> that guy's probably about four and a half, five pounds or so. Perfect eating size channel cat. Exactly what we're after. And this is definitely uh, making this yo-yo trip worth it. Cause, oh gosh, oh, oh smoked me. <laughs> Man, that did not feel good. <laughs> oh gosh, we're good. We're good. What's really great about this fish is that even if we don't catch any more on our yo-yos tonight, we have secured enough fish for dinner. So that is awesome. Let's get this guy in the boat. Let's get the yo-yo off the tree and let's move up to our next set of yo-yos and hopefully we'll have a couple more fish. So last night pretty much ended up being a wash. We didn't get to run the yo-yo spread like we originally anticipated, but luckily enough, we were able to, to secure a couple of decent catfish for the table today. We got a nice channel cat here and we got ourselves a nice yellow bullhead. And it's been a while since we kept a bullhead, but what, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put these two catfish head to head in a taste testing challenge. We are going to do a blind taste test and see which one of these actually tastes better. Most people regard this fish as a trash fish and that it's just no good, but from past experiences, the yellow bullhead is quite tasty. So we gotta figure out which one is tastier. 
So before we do that, we gotta clean these fish up real quick. Then we're going to batter them up, drop them in the deep fryer because that's probably the best way to eat catfish and uh, give them an honest taste test. All right, we started this mission off with some crispy french fries. Those look amazing. And now it is time to cook our freshly caught and clean catfish. So what I've done is I've actually cut these guys up into small strips so that all the catfish looks the same. Um, this is actually the channel cat in the bag right here. I have the bullhead separately, but by the time it's all cooked, let me get it all arranged on the plate. Jay is not gonna know the difference between the two and she is going to do the official taste test and see which one is actually better. So let's get these channel cat all cooked up real quick. They look really good. The meat looked, I mean, extraordinary. Got them in these nice little strips. Looks like a Burger King chicken fry, kinda. Puts off that kind of vibe. Although it's gonna be a hundred million times better than that, obviously. And it's really good when you have a big old piece of catfish like that to just um, cut it up into small pieces like this just so it cooks more evenly. It just makes the experience a lot better. And the official breading that we're using today in the Catfish Taste Challenge is the Florida seasoning that a subscriber sent us that we used in a previous Catch Cook video. That stuff was so good, I feel like it deserved a second round of action. So I think I only have a couple more of these guys left in here. And those should be done cooking in the next three or four minutes or so, and then we'll throw the bullhead, then we'll do the little swap up, and then we'll do the taste test. It's gonna be awesome. So we had to bring our party inside because it started to rain, but here is our lovely tray of fresh fried catfish and french fries. Now, only I know which ones of these are bullhead and which ones of these are channel cat. Jay, you have no clue which one's which, right? No, they all look the exact same. <laughs> that was the goal. <laughs> so, what I want you to do, I'm gonna point to one, I'm gonna have you taste that one, and then, then you'll do the other one, you'll see which one you like best, and I'll tell you at the end which one you like the best. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, so first, go with that one right there. This one? Yep. Ready? Yep. Hmm. Man, that's good. Are you faking it or are you being honest? I'm being honest. <laughs> that's so good. Mm. I taste Ooh. tested a few of those pieces of fish and they are very good. That Florida seasoning is great. Yeah. And just the fact that those fish were caught last night and cleaned just now makes them even better. It's very fresh. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. So you like fish number one? Mm-hmm. Okay, a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, you get all like the flavor of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, I want you to go with this one right here. That little guy in the front. You're not full, are you? No. Okay, that's good. There's a lot <laughs> of fish to be eaten. Okay, I can tell the difference. Can you really? Mm-hmm. Do you love it? Yes. That's really good. Now while they all look the same, as far as the way they're cut up and the way they're presented, she immediately had a reaction to the second piece. There is a difference in the taste, for sure. In the taste? Yes. And which one do you like better? This is the same fish fry, right? Same fish fry, same grease, same everything. Okay, I think I like the first one the best. This one tastes kind of sweet. Kind of sweet? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like... I don't know, it's just different. But it's good, they're both like really, really good. Like I would love to eat both of them. But this one mm -hmm. tastes better, I think. Okay, so I'll let you in. The first piece that you had was Channel Cat. The second piece was Yellow Bullhead. And since you thought it was kind of sweeter, you know, that kind of corresponds with the meat. The meat of a bullhead is a little more sweeter. But both are still really good. But yeah, this Channel Cat, yeah, I'm loving it. 
So now let me know which one Jay likes the best. I'm going to try both species of fish, see which one I like better. It's been a while since I've had like a direct like taste comparison between the two. Most of the time it's just all mixed together and you really don't even know what you're eating. It's just all good. So I'm gonna start with the bullhead actually. This is a piece of bullhead right here. Take a little piece off of that. A little bit smaller flakes. Still crunchy looking and delicious looking. I could eat bullheads all day long. It's so good. It is good. Mm -hmm. So let me grab a piece of channel cat, which is a little bit meatier, a little bit thicker. I tried to cut them all to be about the same size, so there wouldn't be that big of a difference, but definitely a little bit bigger flakes, more full-figured fish. Yeah, it's very different. It's also like, not like a fishy taste, but it has like more of a pure like fish taste. Yeah. So if you're into that pure like catfish, you know, fish taste that you get, you know, from the restaurant or that you not buy from the store. Catfish you buy at the grocery store is never going to be as good as the stuff you catch out in the lake. But it has that, you know, that good signature fish taste, but yeah. not fishy. Really good. Delicious. Okay, so honestly, I feel like I'm probably in the same boat as you. I probably prefer the channel cat over the bullhead. It's probably more of a consistent fish taste. But if I had a pile of bullheads and, you know, I'm running limb lines or yo-yos or just, you know, worm fishing and I'm catching with your bullheads, and I want something to eat, like the bullheads are great. Like don't sleep on them. Don't just toss them far away, like up on the bank or anything. You should definitely consider uh, keeping bullheads the next time you're running to a mess of them. But yeah, that's good. It's good stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it has been a very miserable day of fishing out here today. I have been out here for four hours now and I only have like three or four fish under my belt and they're not very big. I'm not sure what the deal is. The conditions seem pretty good. I'm not sure if it's too cold or not, but the water temp looks good and I'm seeing a lot of bait fish, but there's just not striper eating them for whatever reason. It's, it's kind of frustrating. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm gonna take a break from trying to chase down the striper and I'm just gonna sit here and relax and cast a couple of catfish rods out. So I cast my throw net out and I got myself a little cup of shad looking there. I got about 15 or 20 little thread fins, perfect sized bait. And I also, oh, I forgot, I did catch a skipjack on uh, one of my crappie jigs earlier on. I threw it in the live well, so I'm gonna cut him up for some big chunky bait. So I'm gonna cast, you know, the big chunk skipjack out there and a couple of these thread fins and we're gonna see if we can catch some catfish or drum or maybe even a striper out here on the bottom you know everything likes shad so i think i'm gonna do this for maybe an hour hour and a half and if i don't catch anything i might go back and check the old striper holes see if anything's happening over there and if not then we're just gonna have to pack it on in but i'm not giving up hope let's get these shad and skipjack out in the water and see if we can catch something okay so here's what i'm working with i got a chunk of that skipjack 10 ounce circle hook and then on the bottom of this i've just got a three ounce weight current's not too strong right here so that should hold i'm just going to stick this right up through here this is a fresh bloody chunk hopefully a big old catfish swim by and eat that thing i've caught some big ones here i've heard of some like 30 40 pound blue cats getting caught out of here and that is the bait that you need to make that kind of catfish bite we're gonna chunk it out here in the middle and see what happens I think I got something here. There we go. There we go. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. And he's still on there. There we go. This is on our baby shad. This is on our baby shad. Let's go. Our little piece of cut shad. It feels pretty good. Man, it did not take long at all. I should be doing this all day, guys. What we got here? Oh, we got a blue cat. There we go. There we go. Come here, he's all wrapped up. Look at this. I got it. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. After a slow day of fishing, that right there will wake you up. Got to love that. He's probably like two and a half pounds, really good eating size. Hopefully, whoa, oh, he's spicy. You know, if this one's out here in this spot, there's definitely the chance that, you know, the 20 or 30 pounder could be out there too that could eat that big chunk of skipjack. That's awesome. Let's get him in the live wall and get back out there. 
Here we got our small shad rig back up on our smaller setup. Got the small one aught bait holder and a little one ounce little sinker. Just gonna pitch it back out here behind the boat. Right where we got that last one. Hold on, big rod might have just got a bite. I don't know if that was just current or what that was. I don't even know if y'all saw that. The rod just went boom. Anyways, just gonna keep an eye on that. <laughs> Got him. I'm hooked up again. That bait hit the water and he bit it instantly. That was crazy. The cast before it happened too. And I just rigged back up, threw back over there. Is it a catfish? It's a catfish. There might be a group of them over there. Yeah, I've had kind of a lull. I think I'm going to scoot over in just a second. That was so crazy. I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes with no bites. Cast it out, got bit, threw out there again, got bit again, and we got him. Look at that. Second nice little blue catfish. Definitely a nice another keeper. Let's put him in a live well. I'm really anxious to see if that was a fluke or not. Just get those scales off the end of the hook, cast back over there. The big skipjack chunk has not had any action. I've had a few like little nibbles from smaller fish, I think, but nothing big has kind of engulfed it down yet. I'm gonna put that right back in the same spot. I honestly feel so much better now knowing that there are a few catfish out here to be caught. <sighs> it's been such a grind out here today and it's nice that I'm just going to be able to sit here, take it easy, let these chunk baits just sit out here and hopefully we'll be able to catch a few more catfish. We're off to a really good start. I better sit back up and pay attention before my rods yanked up into the water. He's there. I'm hooked up on the big rod guys. Oh. There we go. Oh, he almost pulled the rod out in the water. Had the drag set nice though. This is on the big rod, guys. The fish isn't huge, but it's a decent one. Oh, he almost pulled the rod out in the water. What the heck? He's really not that big. He's a good one though. What? Ho, 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 ho. Oh, sorry, I missed the strike on that, guys. Did he get snagged? What's going on here? Is he snagged or hooking the mouth? He's hooked in the mouth. Nice catfish. Let me get the net. I'm gonna get the net. Uh oh. Uh oh. Might not be getting the net. Use my hand. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Look at that. Choked it. I mean, he got that thing. Now that is what we want right there. He's probably like five and a half pounds. And I think my bait is still hooked up in his mouth, which is good. Oh, 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 oh. Stay in the boat. Stay in the boat. And there we go, guys. That is a quality catfish. All the catfish have been pretty quality, but that is a really nice sized one. And I'm going to throw him in the live well. So I ain't put a whole lot of water in there. There's a little bit. I got three catfish in there. Look at what he ate. Big old skipjack head right there. <laughs> and I am just going to toss that right back out there. Um, it had been sitting out there for maybe two or three minutes. Um, I made a little move out here more to the channel out here just because um, I wasn't really getting a whole lot more bites where I was at. So that move definitely paid off. Got ourselves a nice catfish and I'm just gonna chunk this head right back out there. Got him. I think I got him. I got him. Oh, I got him. He's running. He's running. He's running. This is on the small shad again. Woo! Do we have ourselves another catfish? I hope so. I hope so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, this is what I'm talking about. I can get down with this, guys. I messed around with them dang striper all day caught four been messing around with these catfish for about i don't know an hour now and i've caught four catfish so i would say this was definitely the move and um i added the third rod as you can see here to kind of up my chances but that is another nice keeper these blue catfish are so pretty look at that just beautiful pearl 
looking blue gems coming out of this river and I am going to add him into the live well with his buddies and we're gonna see if we can catch some more. I saw that rod just going tick, 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 and it went brrr. That's what we want to see. I want to see that one go boom, boom, boom. That's what I want. It's my favorite thing ever. Hopefully we'll get some of that action before the day is up. I'm planning on sitting out here for a while now that I've started catching some. That's usually how it goes for me whenever I go catfishing. I can uh, pick a spot, sit there for an hour or so, and uh, depending on the action that I get within that first hour, you know, if I don't get any bites, I'm pretty much just out, I'm done. But if I get a couple of bites, I can sit there all day. <laughs> there we go, just a nice little simple rig. We're gonna chunk it back over here. I've kinda got a current rip on my left and a current rip on my right, and a little bit of a calm spot right here. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of casting just kind of up this kind of like a 45 degree angle and giving bait some slack so it can kind of drift and cover some water. And um, the last few that bit this one, they bit it after it kind of came to a rest at the end, but you could always catch them while it's drifting down. So somewhere kind of like that, get some slack and just let it drift. There we go. He came back for it. Oh, he's on the spinning rod. Oh, watch him be huge. He feels pretty decent. There we go. There we go. I think it's our fifth catfish we can land him. I think it's a catfish. And this rod really wasn't that far out from behind the boat. He's only about 20 yards out behind the boat. How big are you? He came back and got him some. Oh, he's going up underneath the boat. Stay up, buddy. Stay on my motor, please. I guess with the perk, you stay out of my outboard. Stay on there. Oh, it's a drum. Surprised that we hadn't caught more of those. So far, we've been doing pretty good with just catching catfish. But we got a big drum. Whew. That right there is definitely not our target species, but um, we definitely were expecting to catch a few of these guys. It's pretty much inevitable anytime you go catfishing out here on the river with some cut bait, you're going to run into a few of these drum. He put up a good fight. He's got some really cool colors. I mean, he has basically the exact same colors as those blue catfish. Pretty cool fish. He's got it right down there in the crushers. I need to get him unhooked and get him back in the water so we can get back out there for some more cats. And the hook is out. I'll send you back. There he goes. Uh oh. Uh oh, something's pulling line on this. Oh, what the heck? No. Something was definitely pulling line on this. I can't believe it. I should have felt it. I got antsy again. I don't know what it was, but something was pulling line for sure. Got it kind of mangled. What the heck? They like the skipjack head. Must have not been too monstrous. I was really expecting to lay into a big cat that's just been the line was just going G -g -g. not sure what happened there. Definitely getting some nibbles. He's definitely swimming with it too. That little joker. He swam with it all over the place up there. Is that another drum? Looks like another drum, guys. Last two fish had been drum on this same rod. He been on there for a little bit too. Whew. Little fresh water drum. <laughs> Our second in the last five minutes. He's got the hook down there pretty good in the crushers. Let's get him off the hook. Oh, the hook's out already. Nice. He was barely hooked. Say bye. See you later. Nice. We're hooked up again on the middle rod. Hooked up again on the middle rod. That feels like a drum. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, but it feels like our third drum in a row. He's kind of drum rolling down there. Feels decent though. Oh, they always feel decent on the spinning rod. And as soon as you break out the spinning rod whenever you go catfishing, that's when you start catching stuff. He's fighting pretty good, honestly. Is he rolling like a drum or a catfish? 
What do you think? Moment of truth. I think it's a drum. Oh, it's a big drum. Got some big old lips on him. <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Uh oh, I got one running on this little rod. Oh, I just had one run line out on the big rod. I don't know if he's still there or not. Look at that, big old boofy drum. That's three in a row on this one rod in the last 10 minutes. I'm going to toss him back. I'm gonna check on this big rod because the line was peeling. I have it free spooling. So I definitely need to check on that. See if we feel anything interesting. I don't feel anything. Dang. Like why are they doing that? And how are they not getting the hook? That's the second time that's happened. Hooked up again. This time it's this outside rod. Is it a drum or is it a catfish? Is it a drum or a catfish? I got a feeling this is a catfish. I got a feeling this is a catfish. Oh, it's a catfish. It's a catfish. Come here. Get in the boat. Woohoo. Let's go, guys. We got another catfish. After catching four drum in a row, or three drum, it might have been four drum, we finally got ourselves another nice blue catfish. Got a perfect hook right in the corner of the mouth. You'd love to see it, guys. I think that's our fifth or sixth catfish. I've lost count, but that's another good one. Definitely going to go in here. Let's get this bait back out there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a fish. <laughs> I was like, that looks pretty nibbly. <laughs> he got some head shakes. I like the system where I sit down and chill, hook the fish and just walk back here to the back deck. Uh, leave your guesses in the comment section. What do you think this is, catfish or drum? This, is our, this has been our drumstick. He's doing some death rolls, feels hefty. Could go either way, honestly. But I'm I'm betting uh, I don't know, I'm betting drum. I'm betting drum. The catfish have been like more deliberate with their bites, and the drum had just been pecking at it. But it's a catfish. Looky there. Looky there. We might almost catch us a limit today. He's got a nice chunky head on him. We might just mess around and catch ourselves a limit of catfish out here today. How about it? How about it? He's gonna be up there as one of our biggest of the day. He's gonna be pushing three, three and a half pounds. What a nice fish. It's kind of why I thought he was a drum. He felt heavy and was just not really moving. But what I realized whenever I landed him is that that weight was kind of wrapped around his fins and he couldn't really fight that good. Nice, nice, nice catfish. This is fun. Forget the striper. I'm here for the kitty cats. And I'm really hoping that this big rod right here is just gonna get just smoked. Might have a little something something. Oh yeah, running upstream with it. <laughs> what is this? Is that another catfish? It's another catfish, guys. That we're gonna flip this one up on the boat. Yeah. Look at that. He bit it and took upstream with it. Oh, he got my sinker. That dirty dog. He got my sinker. You get my sinker, I get your fillets. That's just how it goes, man. Just how it goes. Another nice little blue catfish. I've lost count of how many I got. I need to get in there and make sure I don't have over the limit. I don't think I have, I definitely don't have 10 yet, but I do have seven or eight. And that makes me happy. Makes me real happy. Nice catfish. Is that my sinker? There's my sinker right there. Look at that. I guess it came off on the boat foot. That's definitely my sinker. This line is so flat. Hold on. This 
one's got a fish. <laughs> the other one might have a fish too. This rod right here on my right is so slack. But this one almost got yanked in the water. Whew. What are you thinking? Oh, it's a, what is that? I can't tell what that is. It's a cat. Another cat. <laughs> I'm so worried about this rod on my right. As it got bit and the line was super slack. Get up here. Oh, it's a fatty. Huh. What a fat fish. And I personally really love the way that blue catfish tastes. So to say I'm excited about taking all these catfish home would be an understatement. That, that line is so slack. I have got to check that out. Got to check that out. Something is going on here. I mean, this line. Is there a fish? What happened? Did it break? No, he got the bait. Ooh. He got the bait on this one. Dang. All right, guys. Well, as y'all can tell, it has gotten quite dark out here, and I am unfortunately all out of bait. And as I am filming this right now, it is starting to rain, which kind of has me a little bit nervous because it is pretty cold out here. It's only the high that it's gotten today is only like 35 degrees. So I really need to load this boat up and get back to the house before the roads maybe start freezing back over. We don't want any of that action. So I'm gonna take my catfish, I'm gonna get the boat loaded up and I will catch you guys once we get back to the crib and we are going to get these fish all cleaned up. I'll see you there. Man, what a difference a day makes in the weather here in Arkansas. Yesterday, the temps never got above 40 degrees. It was mainly like at the freezing point most of the day yesterday. And then today, we're here early. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. The sun is up, it's bright. It's like 45 degrees and it's supposed to get to like 60, which is just great. It's really great. It's a great boost for my morale. It's been really cold and icy the last like week or so and I am ready for springtime. That is for sure. But we ended up doing pretty well yesterday at the river even though it was a grind and in hindsight I wish I would have just sat there and catfished all day long. I think I would have caught some really nice ones but we did land some nice blue catfish. I had them all laid out here in front of me on the cleaning table. So let me turn this camera and show you guys the fish that we got. We got some nice ones honestly. Check these guys out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue cats there in the middle is our biggest one we caught on that big skip jackhead he's like probably five pounds or so and these are all like two and a half to three pounds except for this one here he's kind of a smaller guy he's like two pounds but anyways some really nice catfish the limit here in arkansas on blue catfish is 10 so we almost got a limit we definitely had some opportunities for more than eight but can't complain with these results and we are about to get these guys all cleaned up i'm just gonna fillet them with the electric fillet off which you saw on the table and uh we're gonna be eating them sometime today i think we're actually gonna be eating them for dinner because i think we have lunch plans already but either way they will be consumed today and they will hopefully be delicious which i know they're gonna be good blue catfish are probably up there among my favorite catfish species to eat i know there's not very many to choose from but it's a, a toss up between blue catfish and flathead for me but anyways enough rambling i'm gonna get these guys cleaned up and i will catch you guys at the dinner table All right guys, well as y'all just saw, I just finished cleaning up all the catfish and I went on ahead and brought a few pieces in here to the kitchen to cook up. I blackened them in the skillet and this is what our final product looks like. That's just one of those fillets off that catfish and I got them all nice and blackened and I gotta say, kinda put a little bit of extra of this Slappy Mama hot blend and the smoke that came off that fish is like all inside of me and it's kinda tickling my throat and it's kinda making me tear up a little bit. It's probably gonna be pretty spicy which is exactly what I was going for. So I use this on one side of the fish and then on the other side, I used some black and redfish magic. These are like our two favorite seasonings for fish. Deadly one-two combo. And we're gonna go ahead and give a little taste test to see how it goes. It should be probably pretty spicy. As you can see, I just have some rice on here. It's a really simple meal that we cook all the time here. Sometimes we add avocado on the side or some other sort of green, but this is all we had here today. We got some fish on there, some rice. Wow, <laughs> that's expected. That is very spicy, guys. Wow. It's spicy, but it's good, and it's exactly what I wanted today out of these catfish. It is so hard to beat fresh catfish from the river. I'm going to set this aside 
just for a moment. It needs to cool down too. It's really hot and then it's also very spicy, which is a combination that's not really good for the old taste buds. But I heard little man Cypress over here squalling. He said he wants to come see y'all before we sign out. Let me go grab him real quick. Here's the little guy. He was in the background squealing a little bit. He's probably kind of amped up from the smell of the catfish in here. Cypress, you proud of me for catching those catfish? I had a tough day. Started off real slow and I made the adjustment to catfish and we did really good. You eating your koala? Quit eating your koala. He didn't do nothing to you. Koala! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't eat your koala. Eat catfish instead. <laughs> pulling so strong it's hard to tell how big he is it's a 10 foot surf ride but oh my gosh he just smoked that live green sunfish beep it's a live oh gosh those head shakes feel big oh my goodness oh my gosh look at this ride i'm not sure you can see it all this ride is so big oh second drift up in there guys and we're hooked up with the river monster is it a bull shark <laughs> or is it a catfish how big is he? And are we going to need the net? Hopefully we're we'll probably going to need the net. I'm whooping him pretty good. I mean, I would hope I could whoop him pretty good on a rod this size. An 8,000 size reel. You just never know. You just never know out here. This could be a 30 pounder. This could be a 10 pounder. Oh, he's fighting good though. He's trying to go up river. Okay, we got him coming to us now. Come here, big guy. Oh, bobber. Ooh. There's our bobber. Look at that bobber. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, be a massive flathead. Be a flathead. Or a bull shark. Come on, big oh dog. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on, big dog. He's dogging. He's dogging. Whoa. Oh, please come up. Oh, the anticipation is crazy with that bobber sitting right there. I know. Ah. It's big, isn't it? It's big. I have this drag tight. Oh my gosh. I might need the net. I just want to see him. Oh my, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's massive! Oh. Don't cut me. Oh, he doesn't cut my net. Oh my gosh. What? I got it. Oh god. Oh. I thought you said he just broke the net. I said he couldn't fit in the net. Oh. Look at this beast. Wow! Look at this beast. He's off the hook too. He's unhooked. Oh, he came unhooked in the net. Oh my gosh, let's go. Big old blue cat. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Now that is how we get things started, guys. Just get out here, second drift with a live green sunfish, and we've got a big old blue cat. Yeah. I'm not sure how much he weighs. Probably a high teener? Maybe. I have the scale. I don't really trust the scale, but we'll weigh him and see. The scale says 17 pounds and 12 ounces. Wow. Woo. I believe it. His belly is huge. I believe it, 17 pounder to kick the day off. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but we'll go with 17. Hopefully this is a sign of great things to come. Hopefully we'll get some even bigger monsters. Jay, we're gonna send this fish back and it's your turn to catch a big one. Yeah! <laughs> so big. We are planning on keeping some catfish today, but we're gonna need some a little bit smaller than that that'll actually fit in our live well. I think he's ready. Here he goes. Yes, baby. <laughs> Let's get more. That was awesome. Real, 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 real. You feel him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, yeah. Just, just hold on to him. Oh, my gosh. That's huge. Oh, my gosh. It's... Yeah. He's in that current. He's big. You saw how big that first one's belly was. Oh, my gosh, Jay. This is epic. <laughs> Oh, just oh hold on to him. Yeah, how are you feeling right now? My heart is racing. This fish is so heavy. I'm like, 
a little intimidated. I think you should be. He could be huge. I mean, <laughs> this is definitely going to be my PB. This could be a 10 pounder. It could be a 20 pounder. He needs head shakes too. It could be a 50 pounder. Oh my God. Probably not a 100 pounder. But look at that rod bend. Look at that rod bend. Oh my God. I wish the viewers could feel what I'm feeling. Describe it. Describe what you're feeling. <laughs> well, it, like, it feels like I'm hooked up with a rock, but the rock is swimming. I mean, it is so heavy. This is like the heaviest fish. Maybe it, not the heaviest fish I've ever felt. Does it kind of remind you of the black drum we yeah, caught in yeah, Florida? Yeah. Those were big fish. Why'd you be small? Why'd you be smaller than yours? <laughs> <laughs> What's your guess? How big do you think? You think he's bigger or smaller than the one I caught? I'm gonna say bigger. Oh, there he is. Just keep fighting Where him. Is he? he's oh, he's not that. Uh, he's not. He's not that big. He's really not that big. Wow. Pull him the net. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Well, my first one of the day wasn't as big as I thought it was. Man, this fish was fighting so hard in that current. I literally thought it was gonna be like a twenty pounder. Yeah. But but I think he's just like a ten pounder. But I think it's gonna be perfect keeping size. Yeah, he'll fit in the live well. We're gonna try to maybe keep just one or two today to take home to eat. He's probably. Yeah, eight or nine, maybe 10 pounds. Not a bad size blue cat at all. But when they get in this current and they're fighting way out there, I mean, that, that bait is drifting like 70 yeah. yards away. What so, am I gonna do though when it, if it's like a 20 pounder? We're just gonna, we're just gonna hold on <laughs> is what we're gonna do. But that is awesome. Nice blue cat, perfect eating size. Let's get him in the live well and uh, let's do another drift. All right, Jay's back in the water. She's letting some line. Letting that bait drift up there into the gates. How Got you feeling? Got to be in the juice. How you feeling? Pump. <laughs> He's so pumped. It seems like once it gets to that little slack water spot back there, that it just goes straight down. The fish are just chilling right there. It just takes forever for the bait to get there. Yeah, but you gotta be ready. Because when they hit it, they hit it hard. Is Bob, is Bob under? Is it under? Is it under? It's under. Oh it's under. It's under. Is he there? Oh yeah. Is he there? Yep. He's yep. there. He's, He's there. there. He's there. Let's go. <laughs> Does he feel bigger or smaller? Is he, like you, he could be a little smaller. There's a fish there though, right? Yeah, oh yeah, there's a fish there. Oh yeah, there's a fish there. Those look like big head shakes though. I know. It's, it's all about how they ride the current, I guess. It's just hard to tell. Okay, now he feels bigger. Oh yeah. Oh, I yeah, see him. He he's just rolling on top. He's a little guy. He's already tired. Who put the small bait fish on there? Did you do that? <laughs> Come on, buddy. He's tired. He's tired. He's a little baby guy. I think you can see him out there. He can't handle the J. There he is in the middle of the screen. That really wasn't that small of a bait. It's like a four inch green sunfish. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, he's so cute. That's the tiniest blue cat. That might be a channel cat. I think it's a channel cat. Whew. He actually looks kind of scrawny. Yeah. I don't know. He is, he is pretty skinny. We'll probably send him back. We, have, we could probably choose some better fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my second fish of the day is the smallest fish of the day. Hopefully this will be the smallest one we catch and it just keeps on getting bigger. So this guy's a little skinny, so we're gonna throw him back. Yeah, he's also blind in one eye. He's just kind of got some stuff going on with him. Go ahead and just give him a little toss in. Bye, buddy. Peace. Well, let's get rigged back up and let's uh, let's get another one. There's a fine specimen right there, probably like a, a four and a half inch little green sunfish. We're rigging these up on four-aught circle hooks. We have some bigger sunfish in there. We'll probably rig up on bigger hook, but these work pretty good for this size fish. Anyways. We have our fish on the hook. Down below the fish, we have a little weight. It's kind of a stabilizing weight. And then we have our big slip cork. It's a little bit excessive, but when it's drifting that far away, we need to be able to see it. And also this helps float the fish and doesn't, it doesn't sink. You need a big bobber so it doesn't sink underneath the water. But anyways, what we're doing is we're walking up here, just casting the bait out in the current and just letting it drift back up to the edge, just like a little back flow. And then once it gets to the little calm spot, the bobber goes down and we really be able to catfish pretty straightforward. <laughs> and then as far as the actual rod and reel setup goes, this is a 10 foot um, surf rod. It's just, it's rated for like two to seven ounce baits. And then we have a big old 8,000 sized reel. Something you would normally see people fish with in the surf, but we're using it out here in the river. And uh, hoping to tangle with the river monster today. Like I want a 30 pounder. What about you? Oh yeah, that would be epic. Fish, 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 fish. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Hold on to him. 
Oh, it's been so long. Good job, Jay. Okay, finally, we are hooked back up. It has been an hour since we had that little flurry. Yes, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. The water's been changing quite a bit, and um, it is now finally kind of stable back out, and we're able to get a good drift on it. What do you have? Is that even a it's catfish? Not very big. I don't even know if that's a catfish. Yeah, it's a catfish. Oh, yeah. It's rolling and rolling and rolling on in. Nice little blue cat. Woo. Oh, yeah, he's not bad. He ain't bad at all. Nice. Oh. He's bigger than the last one. Yeah, he is. Definitely not as sickly looking. Yeah, he looks like good eating to me. Yeah, he's probably like a <laughs> three and a half pounder. We started off with a bang with that big 17 pounder. I know. I thought we were going to catch nothing but big ones. Yeah, day. me too. But it's not really seeming that way. Um, and also, Cole's been like fishing for like an hour trying to catch one. He hands me the rod <laughs> for like 30 seconds here. He's like, here, you hold it. And I got bit. <laughs> yeah. That's Maybe the way it's it goes. me. Maybe I'm lucky today. I guess so. <laughs> But anyways, let's get him in the live well and uh, let's get back out there. Maybe they're going to start turning back on. I don't know. I hope so. No way. No way. All right, guys. It has been a struggle for like the last hour. Jay caught that nice last one a minute ago. Let's move over here to this other side of these gates. Oh, gosh. And I threw a spoon up into him. And I've got something big. Look at my rod. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's big. It's not small. I think it's just really in that current. Oh god. This is really big. This is really big. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I don't want to lose this thing. The problem is I can't go up in there and chase him. I have to bring him to me. This is as close as I can get to this spot. Golly, I just want to see it. I know. I think the current's getting pushed up that way, so he's going through. Oh, I just saw his tail, I think. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully he's big and I'm not just making stuff up. Oh, he got slime. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of slime on the line. Oh, that can be. Paddlefish! I mean, it's a paddlefish. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not a paddlefish. That would be cool, too, though. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Did you see it? Oh, wow. Look at all the shad he just spit up. You see all the shad right there? Oh! Right here. Absolutely massive. You about to break my rod. It's so big. Oh my gosh, don't break the I'm rod. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I want to see this fish so bad. I'm shaking. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Holy cow! Oh my Cole, gosh. That's the biggest catfish! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to have to net this guy. Yeah. You got your GoPro going? Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, Get up here. Don't break my line. You were so big. Why are you so big? Here he comes, Jay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a river monster. That is a river monster. Certified. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't break the net. Oh. So oh my. Oh. Oh my gosh, what a river monster. That's bigger than the first one for sure. Oh yeah. That's a 20 something, maybe even a 30 something pound catfish. He's biting my thumb so hard. Look. I do not want him to roll and thrash and smash me up. Look at that about belly. There. Oh my Let me think of it like this. Oh, look at that tummy. My goodness. I'm gonna try to weigh him. Hopefully he stays on the grippers. 28 pounds. Woo, I believe that. Yeah, absolutely. 28 pounds. 28 pound blue catfish, a river monster. I know there's some that are twice as big out here. I'm excited. I was feeling really down and discouraged today. I had a bite in like two hours. That just fires me up, baby. Let's get him back in the water. Let's get back after it. Okay, here she goes. Oh. Ooh, took her a second to get her bearings. Wow, that was epic. That no wonder it was no wonder it was tough getting that fish in. It was 28 pounds. Goodness. Good okay. job. Let's get back in there. Let's catch another one. Oh my gosh, Jay hooked up. Jay's hooked up. How big does that one feel? This feels huge. 
Oh, oh, drag. On the bluegill head, baby. Yo, that could be a monster. That could be your PB. It's just hard to tell when they're in the current. That rod's a little bit stiffer than the one I just caught that big one on, too. Please be my PB. Please. Okay, I asked you last time, what are your thoughts on this guy? It's so hard to tell in this current. Wait, oh, hang on. There's your bobber. Hang on, hang on. Oh. He's starting to feel small. He might be small. Oh, he ain't small. Oh gosh, he's he ain't not small. small. He ain't small. He's not small. He ain't small. That's not small, Jay. Oh gosh. That's not small. Oh, he's so strong. Just keep him out of the motor. They don't let him rub against the boat. Oh. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Woo! Oh, he's big. That's my PV. That is awesome. That's a massive catfish. And oh, it's he's... like the line is all wrapped around his head. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Oh my gosh, guys! Look at this fish. This is my personal best blue catfish. He's gonna be. He's like the same size as that first one I caught, but he could be 20 pounds. I think he's 20. Definitely feels 20. He's a big guy. That is amazing. <laughs> This was the goal of the day is to get you your personal best blue catfish. And that right there is more than that. That is a really, really solid fish. Yeah, the fight of this fish was insane. But then when he got closer to the boat, I guess because the current was pushing him, he kind of felt small for a second, but then we saw him, we're like, whoa! He's a, a big one. He's a monster. <laughs> 21 pounds. Woo, baby! Jay, you just caught a new personal best blue catfish, 21 pounds. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna throw him back and catch a bigger one. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say we're going to Disney World, but that's okay. <laughs> this is catfish Disney World. This is better than Disney oh, World. Oh, you just got snacked. Ooh, All right, that's why I sent him in. There she goes. Woo! Woo! Oh. All right, Jay just caught that monster. Your boy is up to bat, and I've got a big old shad head on this thing. Let's see if we can get another big catfish in the boat. Sean. You feel big? <laughs> they all feel big, JJ. <laughs> they all feel big. When that bait drips up in there just right, they just smash it. Mm. I don't think he's as big as my one I caught on the spoon earlier. It's a little guy. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, he got hooked like in the gill. Maybe that's why he felt big. That's okay. I needed a breather, anyways. I needed more. I needed more uh, normal-sized catfish. There we go. Another nice blue catfish. Another good keeper, actually. Yeah, yeah, it is. So I think we'll throw him in the cool and in the live well, and that'll be three. I think it's plenty of catfish for us to have for catching and cooking. Yeah. And I think our live well is going to be pretty much well filled up with those three because we got that one that's like eight or nine pounds, and then a three pounder, and this one's like three or four pounds. That's awesome. Nice eater. Heck yeah! Real, 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 real. Yes. 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 That's a big live sunfish on there. That could be a monster. How's he feel? Say it every time, but it feels big. Talk to me, Jay. Is he whooping you? Oh, gosh. I'm whooping him. What are you talking about? Whooping him? Yeah, I'm that whooping him. That was a big sunfish on there. I mean, this fish feels heavy. It feels like a bit. Oh, gosh. There we go. Oh gosh, that's what we're looking for right there. Be a monster. Good one. Oh, it's a good one too. I was hoping it was going to be a 25 pounder. <laughs> Woo! Dang. He's in the net. Woo! <laughs> I am so tired. <laughs> But this is so much fun. <laughs> He's giving you a hug. Oh, thank you, buddy. You know, that's a good one, but I just don't feel like that's the one to end on. I know. I don't feel like that's the one to end on. Oh, 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 oh. He's good. Okay. All right. I'm going to let him go. All right. Let's send it back. Let's try for one more bigger one. Gosh. I don't think he wanted anything to do with me. <laughs> okay. We are exhausted, and we are down to our last piece of bait. That, I think, is our biggest 
grain stump, but she might even sink the bobber. I don't even know. We're gonna chunk it up in there so we get some last cast magic. Come that on. big old green sunfish. Come on, River Monster. Any last words? Or somebody do my best. Uh-oh. Yes! You got him. Got him? Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? It feels weird. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's yeah. there. Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there all right. Oh. He feels big all of a sudden. Oh, he might have to run right at me. That's it, guys. This is going to be the last fish we can land in. Oh gosh, it's got him. Oh yeah. That's a good one, Cole. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. Dang, look at that. Oh my gosh. We're whooping them. That is an awesome fish. Going in for the next shop. Yes. Woo! That's a heavy one. Oh goodness. Yeah. He may not be a 30 pounder or 40 pounder, but this is just a great representation of the day we've had out here. We caught so many nice blue catfish, all different sizes. We caught small eight three pounders. This one here is probably close to 15. We caught 28 pounders, 20 pounders. It's just been unreal. Oh, so much fun. Here we go, guys. We got a tree shaker. Oh, it's gonna be a big flathead or a channel catfish. You just never know. Oh, it's a nice. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am really excited about today's episode and for the next couple of episodes to come because our good buddies, Daniel and Houston Arms from the Arms Family Homestead, are heading to Arkansas right now to hang out with us and do some fishing the next two or three days or so. We're gonna be starting off going out night fishing tonight out on the lake. We're gonna to try to chase down some giant flathead catfish or just big catfish in general on some limb lines. So what we're doing first is we're out here at the old Urban Creek. You've seen me come out here a ton to do some fishing and herping. And we're out here today with the 7.6 uh, the ACC Crappie 6, got the secret jig on there. And we're gonna to try to load the cooler up with some fresh green sunfish to use for bait. They are our favorite thing to use to try to catch flatheads just because they're super lively, they're hardy, they're easy to transport. You have to worry about them dying on you as easily as, you know, like smaller bluegill or other different sunfish. They're just a great option. Flathead catfish just seem to eat them up. But I'm about to start fishing. I'm gonna to try to secure about 40 or 50 green sunfish to use as bait. We're gonna set up a big spread to try to maximize our chances. Um, the weather should be good. It's been really hot today. I had a notification on my phone that I'm supposed to maybe have some storms roll through, but I just don't see it happening. There's some clouds kind of forming, but Hopefully that doesn't happen. That would really ruin everything. So fingers crossed we don't have any storms. And fingers crossed I'm actually able to secure some bait. This place has been good for me, I mean, forever, as far as getting bait. So it shouldn't be too hard. But anyways, if y'all are excited to join along with me on today's adventure, do me a huge favor, hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's catch some bait, and let's catch some catfish. Let's go. There we go, there we go. There's our first fish. Easy enough right there. It's a good green sunfish, that's a thicker one. This is going to make some primo catfish bait. Hopefully we can catch a bunch right here in this first shoal, in this first little waterfall so we don't have to walk a long ways down. I'm seeing a few swimming around, but that is a perfect piece of bait. We'll either leave him whole or cut him up a little bit. Hopefully we'll catch enough we can bait him all up with live bait. It's a good time catching on the first cast. And better catch another one right here. Come on. Got him. Got him. This is always a really good spot. There's a bunch of rocks and we got this nice, rich, rich oxygenated water. You know, it's gotten to a point in the summertime or the late spring where it's really hot and a lot of this creek is pretty stagnant. So a spot like this is where a lot of fish are going to group up. There's two we need about, honestly, we probably need about 30 to 40 of these things. But we'll just take what we can get. Oh, shoot. No. Hopefully we can catch him quick. Got him. Got him. 
making fast work of these green sunfish. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect sized right there, guys. Come here. Secret jig is doing work to these little dudes. I really hope that we're able to turn these into some big old flatheads. If not big flatheads, at, at least a big channel catfish or even a blue cat, I really don't care. But big flathead is definitely the goal. Even if we just catch one, one flathead will make it all worth it. Or if we get some smaller flatheads, I don't care. I just really want the flatheads tonight. We're gonna do everything that we can to make it happen. There we go, a little bit bigger. There's a bunch coming out of those rocks. So it's got me feeling really optimistic that I won't have to walk down. The problem, I mean, I don't mind walking down. It's just this cooler and it's heavy when it's full of water. And it's just, if I can catch them quick and keep them, keep them breathing good, keep them alive and healthy, that's my top priority because it is hot and fish don't tend to live as well whenever it gets hot. These little ones will live better than the big ones though. Believe it or not, I've caught 40 pound flathead on a green sunfish as small as that. They look kind of goofy on the big hook, but they don't look goofy when you got a big old flathead attached to it. Oh guys, there's a snake right here. Oh, he's trying to get it. Oh my gosh, he got it. Oh my gosh, the snake has my fish. That's crazy. Let me see if I can catch him. Snake wants my fish. Snake has got my fish. Huh. Guys, there's a snake right here eating my fish. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, he got scared. He don't want it no more. That's crazy. I should have reached down and grabbed him. Maybe pop his head back up. There was a plain-bellied water snake trying to eat this green sunfish. He just came out of the rocks out of nowhere. I need him to pop his head back up. I think he saw me and got spooked. He's like, something is off about this. There we go. Oh, here comes the snake. Here he comes, 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 here he comes. Snake's trying to grab it. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I got my fish. Whoa, and I got the snake. Golly. Come on, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> He's biting me. Let go. Looky there. We could go down here and catch some bait down here in the urban creek without catching a snake, guys. This is the most common snake that lives out here. This is the, uh, the plain-bellied water snake. You can see he's got that bright yellow belly. And he was vicious about trying to get that little green sunfish. I thought it was just one snake. There's another one coming in right over there. There's an even bigger one. Might as well go try to catch him, too. Let's go catch him. Oh, he sees me. He sees me coming. That's a giant. This one's a giant. I got him. Oh, my gosh. It's a giant one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We got him though. Oh my gosh. I think this big one is the first one that we saw. Wow, he's getting crazy. Oh, okay. We got two snakes. Look at that. Hi. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm catching some bait fish to go fishing with and, uh, these guys are trying to catch the fish as I was reeling them in, so I decided to catch them. What are they? Are those poisonous? No, 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 no. These are uh, plain bellied water snakes. Oh, no. I won't come too close, but take a look at them. Ow, he's biting. I'm just you. I got him good. All of snakes are dead. No, I can look. Yeah, come look at him. I got, I got him held. So you know he's good because he's all white underneath? Uh, no, so these guys, they have really round pupils, like okay. a cottonmouth mouth, cotton mouth is vertical pupils. Okay. And they also have a, um, you know, a really broad angled shaped head. Okay. And um, they also have a heat sensing pit between their eyes and their nose that you really can't see oh, from yeah. far away. No, but insane. I've caught these for a long time, so it's, I can recognize them pretty quickly. So what are you going to do with them? I'm just going to let them go on this side so they quit trying to catch my fish. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was the most badass. I know, we're like, what the crap is he doing? I'm like, oh my gosh, well, he caught a snake. And then we're like, and he got another one. <laughs> well, I was reeling a fish in and he came out of nowhere. I was like, oh snap. So I wanted to catch him. And um, then this bigger one was down. I was like, might as well catch him too. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Do you kill I haven't killed them. I've, I've caught some though. Oh, you don't kill them? No, nah, they just. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you need to kill the cottonmouth. Uh, it's too much trouble. Oh my gosh. You're brave, man. <laughs> Have a good one. 
<laughs> that's funny okay so take a look at this this is the bigger one i think this is the first one that i saw trying to eat my fish and then the smaller one came in trying to investigate but uh i managed to catch him and then as i was you know getting him under control i saw the big one so i figured might as well go on ahead and catch both and do a little daily double i actually ended up having an audience i kind of freaked him out a little bit but that's okay i think they enjoyed it anyway as you can see this the plain belly water snake he has that really bright uniform kind of yellow creamy belly beautiful snake this is a big one that's why i was so excited to catch him and then this little guy is about what I normally catch. He's probably about two feet. Nothing too crazy. I'm going ahead and let this one go. Just let him go on and do his thing. I wanted him to go that way so he wouldn't quit trying to steal my fish. But anyways, there's the big one. He's probably about three feet long. But look how thick he is across the back. He's been out here just, just probably destroying these green sunfish. But anyways, we're going to get back to catch some bait. I've got about 20 in the cooler. I need to get about 20 more to feel good about it. But this was definitely a, a nice little bonus catch. So we're going to send this guy back into the creek and keep on going he's actually pretty docile he bit my finger at first but uh he's been he's been nice since then so we're gonna just let him go and he went he went back down there so they they literally both went right back down where i caught them at <laughs> i was gonna let him on the upper side but this is where all the food is so i don't blame them hanging out there let's catch a few more pieces of bait i might still have a piece i'm gonna see if i still got my fish on here that i hooked earlier it's probably no shot i still got the fish I still got my fish. Well, there we go. So I caught both the snakes. I got my fish. It all worked out. That is awesome. That is absolutely a perfect size green size sunfish. If I could have them all this size, I would do it. But time's taken. I need to get going. I'm kind of wasting too much time catching bait. I need to get out to the spot and start hanging up some lines. Awesome. Okay, guys, we got a decent haul of fish. I'm just going to show you some of the catch. I don't know if I can or not. Let me grab one. Uh oh, we're going to try to jump out. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna clean this water up. There you go. Oh gosh. I'm not sure how many are in there. I think gotta be close to close to 40. There's a good many. You can see they're all really lively. Got some big ones. Got some small ones. Got some in-betweeners. But it should be enough. They should have some success tonight. So with that, step one of completing our goal of catching a big flathead catfish tonight is complete. We're going to take those fish and we're actually going to put them in a bigger cooler, get the bubbler on them. And that's because that many fish and that small of a cooler is just not, not the best for them. Um, it kind of decreases their survival rate. So we're going to put them in a big cooler with some cool water. And then from there, we're actually going to be putting them in the live well of the boat with the big aerators going and we should be good from there. So. Uh, let's get back to the truck. Let's get the boat and let's go meet up with the arms family. I'm really excited We haven't seen I haven't, we haven't seen them since last August and it's just always so much fun when they come to town or whenever we go up there So yeah, I'm excited should be a good time. I'll see you guys when I see you All right guys, we are back out here on like we actually had a little bit of a pop-up storm and I think it's all gone though But we've got our special guest here in the boat with us. We got Daniel. What's up? And we got Houston. What's up? He stole my glasses. It's very bright it but wasn't. It was pouring down rain. We yeah. left our sunglasses in the car. I know. I, yeah. It was It was hard to see. It was pouring out so much. But I think we're in the clear for the rest of the night. Yeah. You can see a few clouds that way. If it storms in the middle of the night, it's not going to be good because the fish might not bite. But I think the storm before the night is going to turn them on and get them excited. We've got our row of limb lines or our wind or our, what do you call that? Just a, a gaggle. A no, gaggle. A spindle <laughs> of uh, limb lines here. And we're about to get them all baited up. I got the fish that we caught in the creek down in the live well. They're doing good. They're happy. I don't think we lost a single one. So I counted them up. I had 58 fish to use. So that should be plenty. I think I've got 35, 40 lines here. So hopefully we'll run through a bunch and have to rebate some and hopefully, hopefully. catch some big flatheads. Houston, you ever yeah, caught a big yeah. flathead? Nope. Uh, no. No big flatheads? No big flatheads. <sighs> hopefully we can catch a big one, like a I 20 mean, to a 30 big pounder. Mud a big mud cat. No, that's not even. And we don't. Thing. We don't want not to catch one of those. Close. If we catch one of those, we're going to put it back on the hook and use it for bait. Yeah. That's what we're going to do with that. But uh, yeah, we've got about an hour and a half of daylight, so we got to get these all baited up. We've got cypress trees spread out all around, and we're going to get it done. Hopefully, get some big ones. All right, so we've been baiting up the spread. We've only got maybe about 15 lines left. We're going to bait up. Here's exactly what we're doing. We're using these limb lines here, and I've got them rigged up with a loop on one end, got the big hook on the other end. I've also got a barrel swivel to kind of keep some line twist out of the equation. I have had a few big flatheads bust these swivels, but I feel like the reward of not getting it all frayed up and twisted up is uh, better than, I think, you, I think you lose less fish with the swivel, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, just wrap it around the tree. And the loop is nice because it easily goes onto the tree and it's easily re removable. So you don't have to worry about, you know, tying them on and cutting them off and leaving line on the tree. And then for bait, you saw me catch all these fish earlier in the creek. We got our green sunfish, just looking them right below the dorsal fin, trying to keep it nice and lively. 
and then just sending them into the lake and hopefully he'll swim in a panicked motion and lure a flathead over and fish will grab it. When the fish grabs it, that tree limb is kind of, kind of uh, limber and so that helps keep tension on the fish and they should stay hooked. I haven't noticed any fish really seeming to get off on these limb lines. So like I said, we got about 10 left, 15 left and uh, we'll come back out here and check them in a few hours and hopefully have a big fish on the end of the line. How many do you think we're gonna have? Uh, I'm gonna say probably 15. 15? Ooh. How many flatheads? How, oh. How late do you want to be up cleaning fish? I mean, <laughs> it depends on how many we check, so. <laughs> we're gonna check all of them. We're checking all of them, we gotta So spread. then I'm gonna say 15. Okay, 15's a good, that's a reasonable number of fish. But how many flatheads amongst all those? Nine. Nine? Nine. That'd be awesome. Heck yeah. Yeah, we gotta spread all the way from that tree all the way over that way and all the way back that way so there's a good shot we'll have something on the line if we don't catch anything that'd be really really surprising that, and disappointing. That, that just means that we're really bad at this yeah but that ain't happening we're gonna catch something but we'll see you guys when we get back out here Man, we should put more over here here we go guys we got a tree shaker oh it's gonna be a big flathead or a channel catfish Oh, get in there, oh. Houston. He can't exactly oh, he reach can't that exactly, far. Can't exactly reach. We hit a stump. We'll have to go to him. Oh, he's fighting. No net. Boat flips only, man. How's he feel? How's he feel? He feels like a fish. Oh, get him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Look at there. There we go. We got ourselves a nice little channel cat. He's not the monster flathead that we're after. No. But he's a good eater, dude. It is. It's it a is. good eater. Like, that's perfect. And we're getting some fish. I think that the fish are really going to turn on a little bit later tonight. So these are actually, I think, bonuses. Awesome. Okay, fellas. I don't know about y'all, but I could not sleep at all last night. All I could think about was limb lines just uh. slapping the water in my sleep. <laughs> Houston fell asleep in about three minutes. Yeah. I promise you, he didn't have a problem sleeping. <laughs> he might have been dreaming about limb lines, but he didn't have a problem going to sleep. Man, I had a, actually, we did not sleep very good. Our, our little children's were, were up kind of running wild last night. Um, and that's why, unfortunately, Jay is not with us this morning. We wish she could have came out to check these lines with us, but she said that she was sending all of her positive thoughts to the big catfish out there on the lines. and. Hopefully they'll have something on there. But as you saw last night, we only caught a couple of smaller channel catfish. Honestly, a little bit surprised we didn't catch more, but we're using big bait. And um, that oftentimes kind of kind of culls out some of the smaller fish out here in the lake. If we were wanting to catch a bunch of catfish, we could have set them up with some worms, some cut shad, and probably caught way more than we wanted. But we're going after the big boys. So we got about 40 lines that we left baited up last night. And we're going to make the run over there and hopefully have something good on the end. But if not, it's not because of a lack of effort because... We put out a money spread on some money trees with some money bait. We efforted it, did we? Efforted we efforted it, and yes. you know, <laughs> we got some catfish. We're definitely gonna be eating, so that's good. We should at least have a couple more of those. But let's get out there and see if we got something big. See that? That's just our guy, isn't it? We got a fish. That's a fish. Yeah, we got a fish. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I thought it looked like a fish. Get him, dude. Oh, oh, it's a, what the heck is that? <laughs> it's a, it's a... You caught a drum. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Nice Thanks. fish. Makes good cut bait. <laughs> Does make good cut bait. Actually, the fish don't even really like to eat them that much. <laughs> hey, we ready to send him back? Yeah. Nice soft landing. Right in the water. We got another fish up here on this tree. He's not shaking and pulling the tree down, so no telling how big he is, but that's definitely not our bait fish. Ooh, come here. Come here. This thing was being sneaky. I didn't think there was a fish on this thing the whole time we were coming up to it. I was like, dang, we ain't got nothing. He's a sleeper. He's a sleeper. Yeah. sleeper. Yeah. Come on, Houston. Uh, probably 40 pounds. Oh, yeah, flip him in here. <laughs> In the boat, man. Ah, thank you. Little cat. Nice one too. Fish sandwich. Fish taco. Yeah. 
Can't beat that right there. No. Now we got three of them bad boys. That's mine right there. <laughs> I, I think Cole that. flipped it in the boat. No, I'm not a fan. He was, we were walking backwards with it and it was like sticking to the troll motor. I was like, oh, look, you gotta go straight up and over. <laughs> Good job, Houston. Well, I was also trying not to get get hooked. Fish and stuff. Oh, that's the best part. Oh boy, Houston. We got another tree shaker. He's not doing his best shaking that he's on there. Oh, there we go. He's bouncing a little bit. He's kind of pulling like a flathead right there. That's kind of what you want to see, that little pulsing. But it could be a channel. Never know until we go grab him. I don't think he's big. Well, I want him to be. It could also know. be a it could, drum. It could be a drum boy. Yeah. Well, this time, oh. Houston, when you grab a hold of that line, flip it in the boat. Yeah, we're just gonna let the wind just kind of drift us in there. Ah, he's acting more channel caddy, but you just never know. Oh, it's a nice channel. Yeah, oh. there's a big one. There nice we go. Nice channel cat, Houston. Thanks. That's what we're after. Give me some, buddy. <laughs> uh, that's, I don't know. I don't know. Let's not get too excited, but that looks pretty decent. I'm not saying that it's a 20 pounder. Definitely I'm just saying that. I know, but look at look at look at the look at the motion. Look at the motion. Look at that. That's what you want to see. Okay, we're coming up on another line. This one here is the most suspicious looking one we've seen. It's not bouncing a whole lot. It's kind of just tugging like a flathead. It's just hard to tell. Oh no. He's kind of bouncing like a channel cat now. We're kind of stuck on a stump. I think it's a good fish regardless of what species it is. At least it's not a catfish. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. I'm gonna be a big guy. Let me get you back in there closer. Oh, oh he was so suspicious. Dinks. Houston and his dinks. <laughs> Daniel and his no fish. <laughs> he was snagged up. You see that? That's why he was fighting so hard. It's weird. You didn't, you didn't even hook him in the mouth, Houston. He missed it when he went for it. That's why it looked weird. He was able to get a little bit of extra leverage and pull weird. There we go. In the box you go. Well, fellas, we didn't get the monster flathead that we were after. It was no. supposed to be a guaranteed deal. Yeah. Cole was like, you come to Arkansas, we're catching some flatheads. Yeah. I don't know if that's, <laughs> I was guaranteeing some crappie, which is what we're going to be doing here in a little bit. But um, the flathead was 50-50, could have gone either way. But we did catch five nice channel catfish. That's plenty for lunch. I'm glad we were able to catch something. Like last night we ran the lines and we went through like 30 lines of no fish. I was sweating. I was like, there's no <laughs> way. This, this spot is always so good. Always catch fish here. Never have gone 30 lines deep without catching a fish. So I was worried. Those two back to back last night were good. And I'm glad we caught three more today. Plus a drum. Yes. The drum king here. Yes. But with that, we're going to uh, motor back across the lake, get this boat back on the trailer. And we'll pick this up once we get to cleaning and cooking up these fish. We're actually going to be going to another spot in the meantime today, doing some fishing and uh, trying to catch some more fish. So hopefully you're excited to tune in to all of these videos from this weekend. And uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys when we see you. All right, guys, it's cleaning time. We've got some of our catfish from last night. They've been chilling on the ice and they're looking ready to cleaned up and, and eaten up for dinner tonight. This should be a good time. What do you think? Well, it's gonna taste good. I know that. Yeah. Her, her belly looks a little uh, slimy and wrinkled up from being on ice for <laughs> yeah <laughs> a while, but that's kind of how it is. But they're gonna they're gonna look really good once we get them all processed up. So we're gonna whip through this really quickly, and uh, we're gonna deep fry them up and just have ourselves a good time tonight for dinner. So let's get after it. Hi guys, look at this heaping pile of fish. It's mostly uh, channel catfish. We also have some bluegill on there, but we're excited. We got the deep fryer heated up. Cypress, don't touch that. No, 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 no. Get back, get back. <laughs> we got the deep fryer all heated up and we got some fish batter. We're gonna batter these boys up. We also got some french fries, some hush puppies. We're doing a full spread tonight and it's gonna be super tasty. So let's start battering these guys up and let's throw them in deep fryer. Yeah. The first drop, my man. magic. It's magical. 
Mm. Man, look at this spread. We got Savannah Classics. We've got some fried catfish. We got some curly fries. Houston, how's the food? They're good. Which one do you like more, the Cajun batter or the Cajun. regular? Cajun. Cajun batter. Cypress, we got some French fries. <gasps> yeah. You gonna eat you a French fry? Get you a French fry. Fresh French fries. <gasps> Cooked it just for you. It's what you wanted, wasn't it? A yo-yo. It's a curly fry. It's not a yo-yo. Try it. Mmm. What a legend. We worked hard to catch these fish for you, Cypress. So you better eat some fish, too. It was hard to catch those fries, though. Mom went and got those fries out of the grocery store. <laughs> she worked hard for them. You excited about this fish, JJ? I am so excited. It looks so good. It uh, smells good. I'm also really excited about these hush puppies. Oh, yeah. they're amazing. I yeah. love these hush puppies. <laughs> Give it a taste test. Mm. Mm. Perfect. It's hard to beat the Savannah Classics. Man, so you were chowing down on them french fries. <laughs> what a guy. Okay, my turn to make a plate. One more look, guys. <laughs> Sai, you loving those french fries? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Going for a bite. This is some fish that I battered in some mustard and Slappy Mama. It looks oh. crunchy and it looks really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Won't catch me complaining. Yeah, I mean, I know I cooked it, so I have to like like it. <laughs> but I've cooked fish and I didn't like it before, but that is really good. Don't sleep on battering your fish and some mustard. Make it all stick, make it all crunchy. Mama! It's how you would like this. Eat this. Mm. We're working on it. Okay, guys, I think I got a bite. I got a bite. Get a bite. Oh, dude, I got it. Dude, I'm hooked up. Dude, I got a big one. I'm either, it's either a fish or I'm hung up. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, it's a fish. That is definitely a fish. 100% a fish. That's a fish. Dude, that's so big. That is so big. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is huge. Oh my gosh, dude, that's a huge fish. Oh my gosh, look at that rod. I've been out here all day and I just finally hooked up with one. Oh, I have no idea how big this fish is. The current is so strong and he is down in it. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm freaking out. Am I recording? I'm recording. Is this a blue cat? Flathead? Dude, what is this? Oh, it's a nice blue. Oh, dude, it's a nice blue. Nice blue, nice blue. I got it, dude. Woo, look at that blue cat. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Oh my gosh. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. He's gonna bite me. I got him. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that beast of a blue cat. Probably like a high team, maybe even 20 pounds. That's probably, that's me close to 20 pounds, dude. Gotta that's be. a hefty guy. That's the biggest blue cat I have caught in so long. Definitely the biggest one I've caught this year. Just drifting a live green sunfish out here in the current, and he smashed it. I mean, look at the belly, dude. That guy is fat. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. What a cool fish. Been out here for a long time fishing. Hadn't had much luck. They might have just now started turning on. I don't know. That is so wicked. Okay, we're gonna get him off the hook, and we're actually gonna be releasing this guy. He's a big old guy. We've got plenty of fish at home in the freezer. We don't need him. We're out here just trying to catch a big guy today, and we have definitely succeeded at that. All right, one last look at this big old guy. Let's send him back. There could be one twice or three times as big as this out here. You just never know with these blue cats. I mean, look at that color. What a beautiful fish. So epic. Okay. 
There she goes, she's ready. Let's go, dude. There's any more? Dude, definitely. Let's go <laughs> smack some more. Is that a fish? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hooked up again. Hooked up again. Hooked up again. Oh my gosh. He honestly doesn't feel as big as the last one. It feels good though. He's right here. He's already right here. Oh, be big. Be big, be big, 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 big. Be big. Oh, he's going down here. Oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Not a bad one, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Stay on there. Oh, that's a good keeper stash right there. That is a good keeper. Oh, baby. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Nice blue cat. Freaking nice blue cat. Oh, come here. Come here. Let me have you. Let me have you. Let me have you. Yeah. Let me have him. Woo! All right. Look at that blue cat right there. That thing is almost black. That is awesome. That's like a eight, nine pounder maybe? That is going to be a good eating sized fish. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That is awesome. Two nice catfish out here now. Oh, they literally just turned on. Okay, I'm gonna walk this guy back over here to my stuff set and get him on a stringer. That's probably the only catfish to take home. I was hoping to get just one I could take home for dinner tonight. And this is the perfect specimen. Oh, baby. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Uh-oh, Dakota's hooked up. Dakota's hooked up. Feels pretty nice, too. Like, how big are you talking? 15 pounds? 20 pounds? You think it's a... Oh, there's the bottle. Oh, what is it? Oh, he's going down. It's a... Oh, he's bigger than that. Oh, I need to... Yeah. 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 Yeah, dude. That's a good one. Oh, gosh. Oh, my hands are going to hurt after this one. He's going to tear you up. Woo! I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, he's got sharp teeth too. Oh gosh. Oh, look at that behemoth. That's bigger than what I caught, I think. He's long. That's he's a long, long kitty. Dang, son. Dang. That's gotta be 20. Dude, I'd say 20 for sure. It's gotta be close to it, because this catfish is so fat and happy. Eating all those shad down there. They are loving it. And I am too. That is insane, bro. Look at that big old catfish. Huge. Monster blue cat. Oh man. Hopefully we can catch one double that size before it's all sudden done. The big ones just all of a sudden started biting out of nowhere. It's crazy. I'm gonna send this one on his way. Ooh. I was just getting myself a nice big old piece of cut bait ready and Dakota's like, oh you got one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. that Hopefully that bait right there will catch the next fish. Dude, yeah. put it there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take this big old shad head and I'm just gonna stick this hook right up there through the back hopefully that will float down in front of the catfish's face we'll catch him oh 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 fish on that's a fish that's a fish dude that's a big one. oh my gosh that is a good fish that might be my biggest one. And it feels so heavy when you get them in this current. It's just so hard to tell. Oh, that was on that shad head too, guys. That big, bloody shad head. Ah, come up here. Be big. Be huge. Be huge. Be huge. Come on, big daddy. Oh, there's my bot. Oh. Oh, there's my bottle. Come on, come on. Oh, Godzilla! Godzilla. Light blue. Light blue. The other one's been dark, dark blue. It's a light blue. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at all that slime on my line. Goodness. Goodness. Oh, my gosh. Nice blue. I don't know if it's as big as my first one. That's still a huge blue cat. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. He's gonna bite me. 
He's about to bite me. Oh, he's so fat. Don't bite me. Don't break my wrist. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's monster. Dude, is this even real? Look at the size of that blue cat. You think he's bigger than the first one? I don't know if he is. They're almost like twins, but this one here is a light blue version. The first one was dark blue. Just so big and fat, and he ate that huge cut up shad head. What a beast out here on the river. That's insane. Just floating these shad just up in there, and then the rod just goes boom, 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 boom. Not even seeing the bobber go down, just feeling him just, just smack it. That is insane. Massive. Biggest catfish I've caught on rod and reel. Oh my gosh. Our biggest, biggest blue cat I've caught on rod and reel for sure. I've caught flatheads this big and bigger, but I just have never caught blue cats this big for some reason. All right, we got the hook out. We're gonna send this guy back into the river. We got that one on the string we're gonna take home to eat. If we catch another small like flathead or something, we might take it, but I think we're good with that one catfish. That should feed the whole family. What an awesome fish. Okay, let's send it back. All right, big girl. Oh, splash me on the way out, why don't you? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are once again down here on the riverbank this morning and uh, we're gonna try to catch ourselves a river monster. So today is like the last like decently warm day. It's still pretty cold, it's like 55 degrees today, but there's a front pushing through at the end of today and for the next several days, it's going to be quite chilly and possibly pretty tough fishing. So I'm gonna try to make the most of this opportunity and try to catch some fish. I was here um, like a week and a half ago, caught a lot of fish, didn't really catch a ton of catfish, um, but I'm hoping that maybe the catfish will be stirring today and we can catch a couple of big ones. I've got four rods with me, I've got my cast net, I'm gonna throw it out here, try to secure me some bait, and we're gonna get our rods out in the water and uh, see what we can catch. Hopefully, we'll catch something good. So guys, if y'all are excited to join along with me on today's fishing adventure, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get these baits in the water, and let's see if we can catch big old fish. Let's go. That's a fish. Oh, oh, that feels big. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that does not feel small. What is this? Let me come down here. That does not feel very small, guys. What is this? It actually feels large. Getting some drag. Oh, this is big. This is big. He's got me in the current. What is this? There's no way this is a drum. What are you? What is this? Oh, good blue. There we go. Starting off with a blue cat. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, he's not a massive blue catfish, but he's a good one. That's a good catfish. Let's go, baby. Right out here and land him. Oh, he smoked that shed. Come here. Yeah. Looky there, guys. First fish of the morning is a beautiful blue catfish and a good eater size, too. Okay. Well, I think that was just the current pull on my big pole. I got nervous. It was going, bzzz, <laughs> but it didn't seem like a fish. Look at that. Seven minutes into this mission, we got our first blue catfish of the day. Okay, I'm gonna actually take him up here. Try to hold on to him. And uh, we're gonna get him strung up. <laughs> and there we go, we're on the board. First catfish of the day, baby. Oh, fish on. Yeah, I didn't even feel the bite. I think you knocked the slack in it. What is this? He's not as big as our first one. Kind of fighting like a catfish though. Could be, oh gosh, those are big head shakes there. What the heck? Probably just a drum, right? Or is it another cat? There's no way we caught two catfish in a row, first two fish. He's pulling all of a sudden. Oh yeah, big drum. Big drum. Whew, 
All right, we did it. It's been another 10 minutes since we caught our first fish. Uh, the bite seems to be a little bit slow today, but it's it's definitely there. And if, I think there's a ton of fish out there. I don't know. There's, a, there's so many birds. But I'm not really seeing a ton of bait fish. I'm having a hard time catching shad. I've only got like five left, but um, that's a big drum. One of the bigger ones I've caught down here recently. Just kind of hoping it was a catfish. All right, one last look at that guy. 10 out of 10. There we go. Another fish. They're just crunching it. When they bite it, there's no like tapping around. They're just gobbling that whole shad up. What do we have this time? I'm going to say that I put a dollar on. This is a drum. Oh, he came off. It was a drum though. He was like a golden one though. I wish we would have caught him. Dang. I really wish I could catch some bigger bait that I could toss out there. I'm gonna pick up my throwing net here in a in a minute and toss it around some more so I can get lucky and get like a big shad and cut up. All right, so here's the deal. I just caught this tiny little drum. I've been trying for a long time to catch some bait in my cast net, whether it be a big shad or even little shad or some small sunfish, and I have just come up empty. I don't know why I can't catch anything. I guess they're just not running by the bank, but I had this little guy. So in the meantime, I really want to get my big rod back out there. Um, so we have just decided we're going to cut this drum up and use it for bait. I haven't really had that much success using drum for bait. So I'm just gonna cut them in half. I'm gonna use this chunk right here, this back triangle piece. Always one of my favorites to use as far as cut bait goes. So now we have this big old chunk of drum. We're gonna stick them on this circle hook, just right back through there. That should be decent. And uh, we're gonna chunk it out there. I really hate, you know, being down here below a big spillway like this and not having at least one big rod out just because, you know, it's not really, in the way or anything it's just out there just kind of doing its own thing and and i just like knowing that i at least have a shot at catching a big fish we're gonna try to send it up into those gates if we can that current should take it back there to where we want it to go all right i think we're good got him got him i love the bite today I mean, they are just, like I said earlier, they're just absolutely crunching it whenever they get it. I think it's another drum. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's a fish or what that is. That could be just current. That happens every time I hook a fish. Okay, I'm gonna send this drum back. I'm gonna see what's going on with this. It doesn't really seem like a fish. But what do I know? I hope it's a fish. I think it's a fish. It's coming to me, whatever it is. Oh yeah, oh God, big fish. He ate the drum. What if it's a drum? What if a drum ate the drum? It's not a drum. Oh gosh. Uh-oh. Testing the drag on the burning shark. I think this is big. I could be wrong. Oh gosh. Oh, baby. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. That's big. It's a big boy. He ate the freaking drum. This is a big blue catfish. Oh, he smokes. Stay on there. That is a good one. I need my net. I'm trying to stay calm. But this is a big fish. Okay. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh! That is what happens when you throw a drum into the spillway. Look at the head on him. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta get up here with it. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that beast of a blue catfish. That is awesome. That is the river monster that we were after today. And the exciting part is that there are some lurking out here probably that are two, three, four times bigger than this one. But he smoked that drum. Look at that big old mouth. Oh my gosh, got big old thick lips. Look at his head. Oh my flathead. So he looks even bigger. <laughs> Look at that. Big old fish. 
I'm gonna get him on the scale. I'm gonna see how big he is. Okay, okay. Okay, the scale just said 14 pounds and one ounce, and that seems to be pretty accurate. What a nice fish. Let's get him back down to the water. We're gonna release him. I don't wanna carry him out if here. I got a long walk. And although he would be some good eating, I would just prefer to let this big one go. So we're gonna walk down there, send him back, get another piece of that drum out there, and so gonna catch another one. Say bye! Look how cool he looks here in this water. We're gonna let him revive for a second. He was up here on the bank for a moment while I was getting on my stuff situated. But he should be good to go here in just a moment. Catfish are pretty hardy and resilient. Man, look at those big pectoral fins. What an awesome fish. You know, I'm always hoping to catch fish like this when I come down here, but um, oh, he's about to, there he goes. He was just slipping right on out. Kind of like a shark. Hey, Whew. what I was saying is, I'm always hoping to catch a fish like that when I fish below these big dams and spillways, but not often does it actually happen. Or well, more times than not, it doesn't happen. Today, it happened. Oh. Okay, let's get another piece of this drum. Let me get like that middle section right here, and then we'll throw the head out there. Hopefully we'll catch another small drum. It's about time we finally caught some shad. I mean, it's never this hard to catch bait. And I consider myself a pretty proficient bait getter. <laughs> Those look to be all thread fins right there. It's maybe like one or two baby gizzards in there. But man, I really want one big old nasty shed, but this will work for now. That'll keep us um, baited up for a little while at least. So let me kind of explain what I am doing. I haven't really done a good job of that. So this is a bottom bumping rig. It's basically like a drop shot setup. This is a two ounce weight. And then I have just my circle hook up there and my shad. This is 30 pound monofilament leader. And I'm using 40 pound braid as my main line. It's, I can just cast it a lot better. And I just prefer to use braid. This is a 10 and a half foot uh, medium heavy surf rod. It's rated to like three to six ounces. And then this is a big 8,000 size rod. Might be a little overkill, but I like it anyways. So what I'm doing is I'm casting up into the current at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm essentially just letting it drift and bounce along the bottom. You wanna have the right size weight. If you have too heavy of a weight, it'll get stuck. If you have too light of a weight, it won't hit the bottom. I found that in this particular flow, a two ounce is perfect. So I'm going about, going about so I'm casting at a 45 degree angle up into the current and I'm basically letting it drift all the way down to almost like a 45 degree angle back that way, like a 10 to two kind of pattern. Uh, but really, honestly though, I'm really doing more of like a 10 to noon. As when I get down here, there's more rocks and more snags and I haven't been getting as many bites. So really casting it up 10 o'clock, giving it some slack to kind of let it power through that fast current and get down on the bottom. It's like 16 feet deep out there, so it takes a second for it to get down to the bottom. And I kind of just keep up with my line. And so I'm on bottom now, and I'm starting to bounce. And it's a pretty good current seam right there. So, I mean, a lot of the fish are just hanging out right there and the bait's just naturally just drifting right in front of their face. There's a fish. Knocked slack in it. Nothing like a good old real set right into a nice big old fat fish. Oh, 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 uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Did he just get eaten by something? Oh my gosh, something crazy just happened. My fish just got big or he got eaten by something. I'm not even lying. Oh my gosh, he might have just got eaten by something. I don't know what he would got eaten by. Did you see that? I'm like actually concerned for my life right now. That fish just got really big. Like he, like he, something, like, I think something just ate this thing. What the heck? That fish was not fighting. He's big now. I feel like I had a small drum and it just got eaten. I gotta baby this thing now. Oh my gosh. Dude, did I just get, did I just catch a shark? Or did a flathead eat it? What if a flathead just camping ate it? It's very heavy. It feels like a flathead. Guys, y'all heard me at the beginning of this. I was just kidding around. Like, I was really reeling fast. This is a flathead. Colin, this is a flathead. I'm about to see it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I gotta see this thing. Oh, there's bubbles. It's a flathead. 
There's freaking bubbles. Be a giant flathead. Please be a flathead. Please come up so I can see you. I guess I just gotta know what happened. On a, on a small shed, guys. This is on a small shed. Now he's got me in this current all weird. These hooks aren't super big. Oh gosh. I don't got no net. <laughs> Current's going the wrong way. There's a lot going against me right now. I'm just holding this fish and he's just beating me up right now. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be a big flat hit. It's big. I mean, this is a giant fish regardless. It's bigger than the big one I caught earlier on the drum. He's, he's close. He's like right here. Oh, it's a big blue. It's not a flathead, it's a big blue. It's a big blue. I thought it was a flathead. It's a big blue. Oh my gosh, he was fighting like a big old flathead, guys. He's big though, I don't care. I'm not disappointed. I don't want you to think I'm disappointed. I'm not disappointed. That might be a Ooh, it's like a 20 pounder. The problem we have here is that this is the fastest rip current right here by the bank. <laughs> and uh, the fish is just sitting in it and I can't, I can't really torque on him too hard because it might break off. I think we're gonna do it though. We're gonna swing him around up against this wall. There he is. We're just gonna bring him up here. We're gonna wrestle him up here. Oh, that's a good spot. Yeah, I feel good now. I think we got him here. I think we got him up here. How slick is this rock? That's a big old catfish. Oh my gosh. In case he comes off, look how big that catfish is, guys. He's, he's hooked pretty decent, though. I pull. Oh, he bit me. Oh my gosh, we got him. Oh. Ow. Ow. Ow, he's biting me. Ow, ow, ow. Come up here with me. Come up here. Oh, this is big. Oh, he's biting me. My goodness. Look at that monster blue catfish. I think this one's definitely gonna be pushing over 20 pounds. He's way bigger than the first one we caught that was 14. I can't believe it, guys. I literally can't believe it. Whenever I was first hooked with that fish, I thought I had like a little drum or a small catfish, and then it seemed like he got ate by something. Now, that's definitely possible, but this fish is hooked pretty well, so I think he just bit it and then I uh, just realized he was hooked about halfway in. Look at that. Oh, I'm out of breath. What a fight. I thought I had a flathead, but just hanging out there down by the bottom, but nope, just a big blue catfish. Really, really cool fish. I mean, look how fat he is. Look at the belly. Just a big old huge belly on that thing. Okay, Woo. Ah. Okay, rough estimate, my scale said that this fish weighed 19 pounds and 15 ounces. So, 20 pound blue catfish, let's take it back down to the river, send it back. That is so crazy, I can't believe it. Look at that. Say bye, say bye Mr. Catfish. Oh, that was fun, that was awesome. I knew when I saw these birds out here today that something crazy could happen. That's a big catfish, oh and it's ready to go. Okay, you ready? Yes. Mmm. Okay. Well, that was big. That was fun. And he bit a smaller shad. Not like a teeny tiny shad, but a smaller one. I'm gonna rig that. I'm gonna pull that big pole back up. I'm gonna put this big drum head on. And we're gonna get back out there with some shad. So I think this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hook this drum head. Right through the schnoz. Gosh, it's bony. Can you go through? <sighs> That's a big old bait. We're gonna send it. Again, look at that. Big old drum head. Not too big, but it is big. <sighs> I'm not sure how well they're gonna like it. It's out there. We'll let the catfish decide what they want to do with it. And we'll get back out and uh, throw a small shad. And if we catch a smaller drum, we'll toss it out there. Get another chunk like that tail piece again. I really like that tail piece.
Got him. Oh, now is this going to turn into a freaking 20 pound catfish? Honestly, he doesn't feel small. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think this is a drum. I honestly don't think it's a drum. It could be, but I don't think it is. If it's a drum, it's a big drum. And I'm here for it. I think it's a catfish. It's a catfish. It's another blue cat and it's another keeper too. It's a good keeper blue. That's nuts. Look at him down there. Y'all see him? Whew. All right. Another great keeper blue catfish right there. Come to daddy. Looky there. Next cast, or I think it's like two casts after that uh, that big blue catfish. We got ourselves another smaller one. Good keeper. It's probably like six pounds, five pounds. It might be all we keep today, just because, like I said earlier, I don't want to carry 50 pounds of fish back to, to my car. These circle hooks I'm using, guys, are like really good. They're just the Bass Pro Shop brand. And when you look at them at first glance, they don't look like they're very good. They look like they're too, you know, closed off. But they have been excellent. I mean, they have been gaffing those catfish. Making them really hard to get off. Man, it's a good fish. Let's get him on the stringer with his buddy. Let's see him side by side. Yeah. Pretty much the identical. The first one we put on there has like gotten really dark since it's been on the stringer. I like when they get that dark blue color. They look pretty cool. Oh yeah. Next cast. My bait was floating towards the pelicans, and I was like, they probably know there's something underneath them. Is it a cat or another drum? I want to catch another catfish. That's another drum right there. Another good one, though. Oh, caught him. Big old drum. I stink. I smell like shad, catfish, and drum right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whatever that is, he bit it and went the opposite way. But now he's not feeling as big. At first, I thought he was huge. He tried taking off like a redfish, so I'm going to assume that it's a silverfish. <laughs> My arms are tired. Black drum. Freshwater black drum. Oh, look at him coming in here. He's fat. He's croaking too. That's a big old pretty one. I like when they're dark and they have those gold fins. Ah. I also like when they barely hook like that. <laughs> There he is. That might be a kitty cat. That might be a kitty cat. He's got some steam on him. He's rolling. Goodness. Be a kitty cat. Yeah, my guess is kitty cat. All day. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it's a kitty cat. It's a blue cat. We had to go through about 10 drum to get us another catfish, but that's okay. We're back on the catfish train all of a sudden. Oh, I love flipping them up here with this big rod. Dang, that's a good fish. That's a really good size blue catfish to eat. But like I said, I don't want to carry a whole lot out. He's probably the smallest of the three. And if I am going to keep another catfish, I would prefer for it to be maybe a flathead. <laughs> and, um, you know, the day is still pretty young. I'm going to fish out here for, you know, a good bit longer. So you never know what you're going to run into. I know that a catfish in the hand is worth more than two catfish in the river, but we already got two on the stringer. So I think we're good. We'll be able to catch another keeper. I have hope.
Oh God. Yes. 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 It worked. Oh my gosh. Those fish moved up here right beside the wall. And I floated a cut bait down there and got one. Big one too, I think. He smashed it. Smashed it, smashed it. Oh gosh. That's what I'm talking about right there. He feels big. Don't come off big guy. He feels hefty. Janky looking float rig right now. Set up too. Oh, there we go. It's a nice big old black one. Big, dark, green catfish. He smashed that thing. Hope I saw my bait. Oh, stay up here. How big is he? Oh my gosh, he's a nice one. Goodness. Look at that big old blue cat. That's fun. He's angry. He gobbled that blue your head up. Oh my god, he's big. He's a big old geezer. Look at that blue. Big old, look how dark he is. He's probably like 12, 13 pounds. He's a grumpy guy. Goodness, guys, that was a lot of fun. He smashed that little piece of cut bait that I had. And uh, man, I'm looking forward to casting back out there. See if we get another one. Man, my thumbs hurt so bad though. Like these fish are really doing some damage to me. Let's talk about my setup real quick. So I've got a, uh, a one ounce weight on the bottom. Then I've got a circle hook, which is all tangled up. Okay, we're not telling anymore. I've got a, uh, a split shot that I'm using to kind of keep my float off the hook. But then up here, I didn't have any bobber stoppers on me, but I did have another bobber. So I clipped it on up there and I'm using that as my bobber stopper. It's pretty janky, but it just worked. All right, guys, so as y'all saw, had a phenomenal time out there at the river yesterday. Um, I was out there for a really long time, so long that it killed all of my camera equipment, but I really didn't catch anything else after that last big one you saw me catch off of the wall. Um, they turned the water off, those fish that were kind of out there in that main current kind of pushed up next to the wall for a second, which was really cool, and that's the only reason I was able to catch that one. And then they, they slowly, well, they quickly actually dispersed from the wall, and um, I didn't get any more bites. But... Nonetheless, had an amazing time, caught some nice fish, caught that one first good one on that cut drum, which was cool, and then caught that even bigger one, that 20 pounder on that tiny shad. So overall, I have no complaints about the day. I, I wish, you know, maybe I could have hooked up with something a little bit bigger. You know, that'd be always really cool to catch a giant, giant catfish, but we'll definitely go back out sometime this winter and uh, try to get on some more big old kitty cats because I know that y'all love the catfishing content. But anyways, that's it for me today. Um, I got those two fish cleaned up. We're gonna eat them at some point over the next couple of days. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see more catfishing content, please let us know down in the comment section and give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future wild and crazy fishing adventures. I'm Cole Harkin, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.